Pop Makupa inspired us from the beginning. Her commitment to progressive ideals, her devotion to interfaith dialogue, her dedication to bringing people together. Then we learned that she spent years associating with the RSS, a xenophobic paramilitary in India that wants to cleanse the land of non-Hindus. And some of her biggest donors are leaders and American affiliates of the RSS, which is especially strange since she's a member of the Michigan State House of Representatives and all of these donors live out of state. From Michigan, Padma Cooper spent years as a columnist. When she first ran for office in 2018, news outlets warned us that her writings reflect shades of Hindu nationalism and an anti-Muslim and anti-Christian stance. They warned us that she even supports Indian laws which criminalize freedom of religion. Cooper, who says she wants to redefine the common concept of religious freedom, endorses laws in India that require a person to get the government's permission to worship a different God. After Christians faced a pogrom by the RSS in India, we were horrified to learn that Cooper blames anti-Christian violence on predatory proselytism. While Indians grow hungrier and starvation increases, Koopa calls for criminal prosecution of Christians who share their faith while they share their food with the poor. And while violence against religious minorities skyrockets under the regime of RSS member Modi, the Prime Minister of India, even as the paramilitary took to the streets this year to massacre Muslims in the capital of the country, Koopa promised that Modi would help India be more peaceful, prosperous, stable, and secular. She even complained that the media in America focused too much on how Modi was accused of being the butcher of Gujarat when he oversaw an anti-Muslim pogrom in 2002. Associated with the RSS, financed by its leaders in America, and opposed to religious freedom, Padma Cooper has got to go.